रेप्यूटेशन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जब आप वेट्स कर रहे हैं really uh, uh, I, I mean, so, डीलिंग विद ग्रास रूट लेवल दे आर चिल्ड्रेन स्कूल चिल्ड्रेन so i personally prefer that we don't use too much of external weights we use the own body weight there are number of exercises where you can use the own body weight and generate a great amount of strength and you will also realize when you use your own body weight to generate strength you will also not lose any of your flexibility well as uh, weight training may generally when you go for too much heavy weights if you do not cool down properly if you do not stretch your muscles properly then you are the tendency there is chances of you losing a little bit of flexibility or little bit of agility let us go to the next flexibility what is flexibility flexibility is the ability to stretch your muscle tendons and ligaments muscle tendons do, jo hai your muscles your lig ligaments it is the ability of stretching this that is flexibility abhi when you are working abhi jab bachon ke sath aap kaam kar rahe जब आप आठ और पंद्रह साल के बीच में जब बच्चों के साथ कर रहे हैं या इवन इवन यंगर चिल्ड्रन देन दैट आप एक नोटिस करेंगे कि चिल्ड्रन जनरली आर वेरी फ्लेक्सिबल आप उनको कैसा भी बेंड करो वो अपने आप बेंड हो जाए दे आर वेरी फ्लेक्सिबल एंड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू वर्क ऑन दैट फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी फॉर एनी स्पोर्ट्स फॉर एनी इवेंट फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर फॉर ए स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन फ्लेक्सिबल इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट इन द इन द फ्यूचर सक्सेस ऑफ ए स्पोर्ट्स flexibility is one of the main uh, powers to 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 do any sport or to do even physical fitness increased flexibility decreases the risk of in injury aap notice karenge when you are ex extremely flexible it reduces the risk of of uh, injuries isliye ki because no matter how much you bend your body you are not really uh, tearing or stretching your your uh, tissues too much you are not tearing your tissues because you are flexible your body can take that flexibility comes over a long period of training flexibility is always it always improves as you keep doing uh, flexible exercises your body keeps becoming more and more flexible and the risk if you have a flexible body the risk of injury is minimum let us go to the next i i actually iske par main bahut kuch bol sakta hu like and i have a limited time so i have just picked some main points aur uski upar main baat kar raha hu क्योंकि दिस इज अ वेरी वास्ट टॉपिक इट विल टेक नंबर ऑफ आवर्स इफ वी गो इन टू ईच डिटेल बट इट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट आई एम श्योर दैट एवरी वन ऑफ यू आर वेरी इंटरेस्टेड इन इन दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड सो आई हैव जस्ट पिक्ड आउट अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन दोस पॉइंट्स आई एम डिस्कसिंग बिकॉज ऑफ अ लैक ऑफ टाइम इट विल टेक टू मच ऑफ टाइम इफ वी गो इन टू टोटल डिटेल गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन वॉट इज बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन ये बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन है क्या व्हाट व्हेन वी से बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन व्हाट डू वी मीन दिस इज द परसेंटेज ऑफ फैट बोन्स एंड मसल ऑफ द बॉडी आपके अंदर आपका बोन स्ट्रक्चर आपका कैल्शियम कितना है इट इज फॉर ऑल व्यू ऑफ योर हेल्थ फिटनेस एंड इन रिलेशन टू योर वेट एंड नो योर वेरियस फैक्टर्स कंसीडरेशन बट बाय स्टार्टिंग दिस यू what kind of, what agar if lack of calcium jayega so the body composition so this is composition let's go to the next uh, the next aspect is physical academics interesting okay. i think most parents most people have the they think physical will the child's success but i think it's the way around i think let us a little bit of it fitness through the focus of a student regular physical activities in a student improve the focus uh, what is jo bhi kaam kar rahe you is on that job अगर आप पे काम कर रहे हो यू आर फोकस्ड ऑन द कंप्यूटर कोचे यू आर फोकस्ड ऑन योर स्टूडेंट्स जो भी काम कर इफ यू आर ए स्टूडेंट यू योर स्टडीज फोकस्ड ऑन एकेडमिक का जो 
तो दिस हेल्प्स द फोकस टू योर फिटनेस इंप्रूव द चाइल्ड व्हिच मी अगर वो फिजिकली इन इज एक्सेस इज नॉट गोइंग डाउन एकेडमिक सक्सेस इज लाइक developing and improving because his focus on studies here is improving because the student goes to college basically is your aim upon what you are focusing on helps them live a happier and healthier life this physical fitness helps you to live life and a happy now there is a simple fact here attract rather happiness will keep stress agar aap udaar baithenge aap hamesha kuch tension mein hain hamesha kuch aapke mind problem mein negative and these kind of situations aap udaas baith attracts a kind of uh, you know base Yeah, if you are if you all the time, my boss is that my office ka kam kya aurah. There is always something on your mind attracts. But for happy, healthy, and happy, you begin to live a stress-free life. If not a stress-free, it reduces reducing stress or stress-free life. Aapka sakta ho, because stress is one of the main causes of. मेडिकल डॉक्टर से वो बताएंगे बिकॉज़ योर शुगर इज आप कई सारे बीमारी ऐसा है कि इट इज रिलेट एंड दॉज बिकॉज ऑफ स्ट्रेस तो फिटनेस गिव्स यू फिटनेस यूर हेल्थी अर लाइफ इट गिव्स यूर हैप्पी अर लाइफ इट रिड्यूस स्ट्रेस इट मेक discipline that you show in your regular fitness next need of physical fitness i mean why why do student need physical fitness i mean uh, we generally is a subconscious karna but this a child kyun karna is it necessary explain to him as a now according to research physical fit regular fitness improves the gp of a is nothing point average in simple terms it means that a continuous activity is distance is the gpa with great point average isse kya hota improving your great great point average se kya hota improve great point average obviously in marks report obviously the marks that are in your exams and because of this is going up obviously become you start the results in exams you start getting better uh, focus your uh, better so here you can see is the benefits of physical especially at the grassroots level sometimes a student pursue in the pursuit of success children sometimes do not get an opportunity to you cannot do this you cannot release in the so not for a child to take a break or oh, class hours to go to the to sports field and release this kind of up energy of a pent then then let's go to coordination and fundamental coordination mechanics helps coordination go kya coordination you know we sometimes we think uh, what is the need and sports them the coordination how will sports help them develop coordination aapko ek one or two examples de pao let's say a, a student uh, a, a student is is playing basketball basketball ke andar there is a lot of coordination there is a coordination between your legs your hands your muscle your brain there is a coordination going on all the time and he has to coordinate if he runs with the ball that is a foul so he has to dribble the ball 
he has to coordinate his legs his hands his dribbling movement you know there's a lot of coordination that he does during playing playing a basketball game playing a football game so what happens as he's playing these games his ability of coordinating or coordination is improving his ability is getting better aap aisa you take you take even football you take swimming there's a coordination of hands leg movement this coordination doesn't come up pani mein jaake khoodte you don't get this kind of a rhythm isko ek rhythm banta hai usko ek coordination banta hai iske liye ek bahut hi acha udaharan main deta hu you take a child agar aap usko pehle bar skipping rope do to wo bar bar wo rassi jo hai uske pair mein phas jata hai did we ever realize ki kyun phas raha isliye phas raha ki there is no coordination in the movement of his hands and legs wo rassi apne pair ke niche jaane se pehle wo niche he is touching the ground तो ये रस्सी जो है उसके बार बार उसके पैर के बीच में फंस जाता है ओनली रीजन इज बिकॉज देर इज नो प्रॉपर कोऑर्डिनेशन इन द चाइल्ड्स बॉडी देर इज नो प्रॉपर कोऑर्डिनेशन इन द चाइल्ड्स हैंड मूवमेंट एंड लेग मूवमेंट इसलिए वो रस्सी जाके उसके पैर में बार बार फंस रहा सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल बट यू सी एज यू कीप गिविंग ए मोर एंड मोर प्रैक्टिस ऑफ स्कीपिंग आप एक दो महीने के बाद में देखेंगे नाउ ही इज एबल टू स्कीप इन ए रियल प्रॉपर मैनर अभी कभी कभी यू सी दे ट्विस्ट द रोप वो दे क्रॉस द रोप वो कई कई तरीके के स्किपिंग होते हैं जनरली यू सी बॉक्सर्स डूइंग इट वो लोग कई डबल स्किप करते वो रस्सी को दे क्रॉस द रोप ना हाउ डज ऑल दिस डेवलप ये ये डेवलपमेंट कैसे आता दिस डेवलप बिकॉज ऑफ बेटर कोऑर्डिनेशन तो यू सी दट दीज आर ऑल सम ऑफ द बेनिफिट दट फिजिकल फिटनेस गिवस ए स्टूडेंट सो नेक्स्ट it teaches them how to take care of their body through proper stretching and development of fundamental mechanics how do what is it's another aspect where they develop it teaches them proper stretching it teaches them the fundamentals of uh, mechanics how your body function isme stretching karne se kya fayda hai you know as a, if a good coach he will explain to the to the student ki aapko ye karne se ye fayda hota aapko wo karne se wo fayda hota the idea of this is when the child knows what he is doing it for he will do it in a better manner he will become more disciplined agar bachcha ko ye pata hai ki mera stretching theek hone se mere ko injury kam ho sakta mera stretching theek hone se mera flexibility badh jata mera agility badh jata mera jo reflexes badh jata you know when he when he learns that this is developing in these areas he starts giving more focus on it he starts paying more attention to it he knows why he, why he is doing that and he does it with a kind of uh, enthusiasm he kinds of does it with a kind of zest and zeal ki mere ko isse ye fayda ho raha so it's important for a coach to explain the benefits of ye kyun kar rahe kabhi kabhi i notice some coaches they don't explain ab ye karo main bola karo aap karna so that is not the way you have to explain to them unko pata hona chahiye ki isse fayda kya ho raha is ye karne se mere body ke andar changes kya aa raha what is the benefit of doing this so this is the the characters of a good coach to explain to his uh, athlete ki isse ye hai usse wo hai and he generally adapts and he uh, becomes a more efficient uh, physical fitness so any sport he comes a, he becomes a more uh, uh, of, um, uh, he gives more emphasis on his, uh, his fitness or his sport let us go to the next one mental and emotional benefits mental and emotional benefits helps a child reap physical mental and improves the mental and emotional is me kya now let, let's uh, go a little bit into this how does it improve you mentally jaisa main bataya tha ki you start thinking better you start when you are playing a game you are the various situations ki aap kya karna how to do it if you are basketball game ki mai pass dau mai kya karu you know you it improves your thinking it makes you think faster it makes you think better ab emotionally how does it improve emotionally आप कभी नोटिस करो कि व्हेन यू आर डीलिंग विद बच्चों का आठ नौ सात आठ नौ साल के बच्चों पे द वेरी फर्स्ट और सेकंड टाइम ही कम्स टू द ग्राउंड वो ही डज नॉट रियली मिक्स विद द अदर चिल्ड्रन आप ऑल चिल्ड्रन आर नॉट लाइक दिस लाइक कई कई बच्चे ऐसे हैं कि अलग से बैठ जाता उसको कोई बच्चा छेड़ा तो रोना ही शुरू करता ही साथ कीप्स एक्सपोजिंग इज अमोशन वो रोना शुरू कर देता फिर वो यू नो कंप्लेन शुरू कर देता सर ये ऐसा किया वो ऐसा किया बट ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ फिजिकल फिटनेस यू रियलाइज दैट इज अमोशन आर चेंजिंग He is developing a kind of emotion. Abhi rona band kar diya. Abhi jab unko dusre bache jo hai tease karne lagte hai, to pehle jo jaisa rota tha, abhi rona band ho gaya uska. What is happening? There is a change. There is something happening. Uska jo emotions are developing. 
he is able to handle these kind of emotional situations better than before pehle jo handle nahi kar sakta tha now he is developed in that area and he is become more capable of handling situations like that so sitre sare benefits hai when when you are when your child or when your student is involved in regular physical activities let's go further on while the body is while the body is exercising the brain is releasing endorphins endorphins hai kya let us see what is endorphins endorphins are a substance released in the brain while the body is exercising this is responsible for reducing pain and increasing pleasure aap jab physical activities kar rahe hai bacche jab physical activities kar rahe hai unke brain ke andar ek substance release ho raha that is called endorphins ye endorphins release hone se fayda kya hai ye fayda hai ki ki this is responsible for reducing pain and boosting pleasure iska matlab hai when it when it reduces pain hota kya hai se fayda kya hota isse ye fayda hota ki when you are doing a tough intensive session he will be able to go a little longer because abhi pain ko zyada bardasht kar sakta he can bear more pain so he can do a little more exercise he can do a little more fitness usse ye fayda hai ki he can perform better in a competition he can perform better in his training he can perform better in any kind of a physical activity that is involved in and it boosts pleasure jab when you are in a happy mood aap khushi aapke andar ek type of khushi hai khushiyan hai so what what does it do what does happiness bring happiness as i said earlier happiness reduces stress you notice that a happy person has less stress aap kabhi kisi ko dekho he is all the time happy he is all the time laughing he is all the time joking those kind of people generally have less amount of stress or they are capable of handling stress even agar stress unke unke life mein aaya they are capable of handling those kind of a situations so by pleasure coming into the body by the release of this endorphins it gives the child an advantage to live a stress free or reduce the stress in his life aapko ye you will be surprised to know that even children aap third fourth class mein koi bhi school bachcho jo school child ko le he undergoes a lot of stress he goes a lot undergoes a lot of peer pressure he undergoes a lot of stress by, with his homework he goes undergoes a lot of stress because he is not able to cope up with with the studies he undergoes a lot of stress because of uh, other students usko jo satate usko jo tease karte hai there are various kinds of stress that comes upon one to kai tarike ke stress hai but when you have this kind of a uh, happiness in you it helps you to eradicate stress or reduce stress or helps you to even handle stress in a better manner i hope everyone can hear me am i clear the next point specific skills and abilities ye bahut hi acha it's very interesting in fact when i keep teaching i get very excited and i get uh, i get very involved because it's very interesting to me because this is my this is my job and ye mai daily yahi karta hu so i get very excited when i teach like this some of the skills and abilities developed through physical fitness are leadership qualities ye leadership qualities kaise how how is now through physical aap puchhenge ki physical fitness aur leadership quality mein kya lena dena hai what is common ye hai ki when you are training a group of children generally you give them games to play in a game he is always trying to be better than the other andar aap char bachon ko dalo ya 10 bachon ko dalo and you just give them a game to play unko kuch bolne ka zarurat nahi padta wo apne aap they are trying to score more baskets they are more trying to more score goal, more goals they are trying to do a better timing and cycling aap dekho ki apne aap they are trying to become a leader they are trying to be the best they are trying to you know um, agar if i know it i can explain to others there's a inborn quality of a leader in everyone that very rarely comes out and the the one of the ways to bring that leadership quality out is physical fitness so it develops the leadership qualities so aap aage ja ke because of the sports fitness because of your activities on the on the play field this will help you in your school this will help you in your office this will this will help you to develop some certain leadership qualities teamwork the next benefit is teamwork teamwork how how do you i mean physical fitness or teamwork mein kya what is common kya lena dena hai as i said earlier teamwork is as he is playing a, a basketball game or any kind of a game uske andar there are times he has to pass the ball if he wants to win the game there is a lot of passing he has to do there is a lot of sharing he has to do all the time he cannot score a basket hamesha apne ko basket dalna to nahi hoga 
आपको पासिंग करना पड़ता आपको मतलब एक स्ट्रैटेजी से खेलना पड़ता सो दैट हेल्प यू डेवलप टीम वर्क दैट हेल्प यू टू बॉन्ड विद टीम आप दूसरे राइडर्स के साथ या दूसरे एथलीट्स के साथ आप उनके साथ मिलना जुलना कैसा हाउ टू बी फ्री विद हाउ टू पास द बॉल टू वन अनदर हाउ टू बिकम ए बेटर टीम वर्क दिस डेवेलप टीम वर्क द नेक्स्ट इज सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस कैसा कैसा बढ़ता हाउ डज इट हाउ डज इट हेल्प हाउ डज फिजिकल फिटनेस हेल्प यू इन सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस it helps you in self confidence because as you are getting better in physical activities your body is getting stronger your mind is also getting stronger now you are being becoming more self confident ki mai ye kar sakta hu mai abhi pehle do push up karta tha abhi mai 25 push up kar sakta hu so there is a kind of confidence that is building in you there is a kind of self confidence ki mai ye kar sakta hu mai ye 10 km bhag sakta hu because i trained mai kuch kiya mai kuch physical activity kiya pehle mai 1 km nahi kar sakta tha लेकिन आपके अंदर मेरे अंदर कॉन्फिडेंस आ गया क्यों आया कॉन्फिडेंस आपके फिजिकल फिटनेस के हिसाब से आपके अंदर एक कॉन्फिडेंस आया कि मैं पहले नहीं कर सकता था अभी मैं कर सकता हूं बिकॉज ऑफ द फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज यू ऑलरेडी फोर्ट इन नेक्स्ट वन इज टाइम मैनेजमेंट ये टाइम मैनेजमेंट कैसा हो सकता फिजिकल फिटनेस या गेम खेलने से हाउ कैन यू मैनेज टाइम टाइम मैनेजमेंट इसलिए होता कि ए स्कूल स्टूडेंट उसको कई सारे काम आ रहते उसको स्कूल जाना पड़ता उसको वापस आना पड़ता उसको जब ट्यूशन पे जाना पड़ता उसको होमवर्क करना पड़ता उसको फैमिली के साथ थोड़ा सा टाइम स्पेयर करना पड़ता तो व्हेन ही स्टार्ट्स कमिंग टू द स्पोर्ट्स ग्राउंड और द स्पोर्ट्स फील्ड और डेज फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज ही लर्न हाउ टू मैनेज दिस टाइम ही लर्न हाउ टू गो टू स्कूल ही लर्न हाउ टू डू इज होमवर्क ही लर्न हाउ टू मेक टाइम टू कम टू द ग्राउंड हाउ डेज ई मेक टाइम अभी कई बच्चे ऐसा है कि एवरी चाइल्ड हैज अ लॉट ऑफ फ्री टाइम मोस्ट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन आजकल दे स्पेंड दैट फ्री टाइम विद फोन आजकल एक पबजी है मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो पबजी आई सीन चिल्ड्रन चार चार पांच पांच छह छह घंटे पबजी के साथ बैठ के खेलना नाउ व्हेन यू ब्रिंग देम इन द फिजिकल टू फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज व्हेन यू ब्रिंग देम टू द प्लेइंग एरिया नाउ दे थिंकिंग चेंजेस अब वो पबजी छोड़ के नाउ ही हैज टू मैनेज हिस्स टाइम अगर मैं पबजी दो घंटे नहीं खेला आई कैन स्पेंड टू आवर्स ग्राउंड पे टू आवर्स मैं कर सकता हूँ ग्राउंड पे जाने से ये ये फायदा होता पबजी खेलने से मेरे को कुछ फायदा नहीं होता हालांकि नुकसान होता इट कैन डैमेज माई एंड इट्स अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम बेसिकली बच्चों में ये एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग आ जाता है कि आई दीज थिंग्स आर बेटर फॉर मी मैं ये कर सकता हूँ बाई डूइंग दिस आई बिकम ए लीडर आई बिकम ए टीम वर्क आई बिकम सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंट आई कैन मैनेज माई टाइम इनके अंदर एक एक कॉन्फिडेंस बन जाता एक सेल्फ रिलायंस इज द नेक्स्ट दे बिगिन टू रिलाय ऑन देम सेल्फ बच्चे क्या है जनरली आप समझो He will bring a school uniform, घर में फेंक देता द मदर हेज टू वॉश इट उसको धो के रखना पड़ता लेकिन जब उसको ये सब अंडरस्टैंडिंग जब जब आ जाता तो ही बिकम्स अटल सेल्फ रिलायंस वो अब ग्राउंड से वापिस जाता उसको पता है कि नेक्स्ट डे मेरे को फिर ट्रेनिंग पे जाना है इसमें पसीना की वो आ रहा मेरे को इसको क्लीन करना है तो जनरली क्या है दे ट्रेन टू डू दे ओन वर्क दे बिकम सेल्फ रिलायंस दे डोंट डिपेंड ऑन समबड़े किसी पे डिपेंडेंस नहीं रहता वो अपने आप अपने कपड़े धो के सुखा के ही इज रेडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट डे ट्रेनिंग तो दीज आर द There is one more aspect in this. This is a very important aspect. Ab ye suniye. It is very interesting. It it excites me very much when I when I discuss these uh, these aspects. Critical thinking. Critical thinking is a very very uh, big aspect in a child or anyone's life. And I feel critical thinking cannot be developed in the classroom. Ab ye critical thinking classroom me develop nahi kar sakte. You can only develop critical thinking. in a actual situation you can develop critical thinking on the play field you can uh, develop critical thinking in a game ab ye kaise how can i develop critical thinking in a game as i told you abhi mai basketball khel raha hu to mere samne mera opponent khada ho jata abhi uska main aim ki aapko distract karna aapse haath se ball chheen lena aapko basket dalne nahi dena uska wo uska that is the opponent uska kaam wo hi hai that he is doing अभी आपको ये सोचना कि मैं लेफ्ट से जाऊं या राइट से जाऊं या बॉल पास करो या यहां से खड़े खड़े बास्केट डालू यहां से इसके पैर के बीच में से ड्रिबल करके जाऊं नाउ यू सी देर आर सिक्स और सेवन एस्पेक्ट नाउ ये सिक्स और सेवन चॉइसिस नाउ ही हैज टू मेक ए क्रिटिकल डिसीजन टू क्रिटिकली थिंक एंड इसके लिए क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग के लिए टाइम नहीं मिलता यू हैव टू डू दिस क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग इन ए फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ए सेकेंड अब वो आपके सामने खड़ा हो गया इट टेक्स ए फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अ सेकेंड की आपको डिसाइड करने के क्या करना मैं बॉल लेफ्ट पे दू या बॉल राइट पे दू या बॉल इसकी पैर के बीच में से दू या इसको पास दू या उसको पास दू 
या रमेश को पास दू या प्रणय को पास दू या किसको पास दू यू नो यू यू दे लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दट आर गोइंग ऑन इन योर माइंड नाउ यू हैव टू डिसाइड कि हु इज द बेस्ट पर्सन हु इज इन द बेस्ट पोजिशन आप जिस विच प्लेयर इज इन द राइट पोजिशन दट ही कैन स्कोर ए बास्केट तो यू हैव टू क्रिटिकली टेक ऑल दीज एस्पेक्ट इन टू कंसिडरेशन ये काफी कुछ है you know i told you many things left right pair ke beech mein you have five players in the, in the in the on the field each one you have to see who is in a better position you have to pass it to the best position so he can in turn get a basket for the team ye dekho kitne sare aspects hai you know in all these aspects he has a fraction of a second to decide main kya karu agar pass dena hai to kisko do you know it's a very critical thinking this can only be developed in, in on the play field this can only be developed in a in a game in a physical activity in a up sprint low in cycling sprint there's a critical decision i you have to critically think aapke aapke opponent ka agar jump kara to what do i do uske piche baithu uske aage jaau uske side mein chalao usko block karu itne sare aspects ekdam aa jata hai you know in a sports field itne sare aspects aapke samne aa jata to aapko usme se ek chunna hai aap do teen nahi kar sakte na you cannot uh, pick two or three mai ek ko pass de ke ek yahan dribble kar do there are no two decisions aapko ek hi karna hai usme आपके चॉइस में आठ दस चॉइस में आपको एक ही करना है और उसके ऊपर राइट चॉइस करना है और उसके ऊपर स्प्लिट सेक्शन स्प्लिट सेकंड में करना है तो इट इज वेरी क्रिटिकल आपको इतने सारे चॉइस में एक करना है वो एक में शुड बी द राइट चॉइस तो दिस इज अ वेरी क्रिटिकल एस्पेक्ट क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर एंड आई फील दट क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग विल ओनली डेवलप इन द प्लेइंग फील्ड तो लेट अस गो टू अक्स्ट टॉपिक i hope aap log ko it is interested i hope all of you are in, finding it interesting i am finding it interesting when i teach i get excited myself so let us see important factors while training children abhi bachchon ko jaise main bataya tha bachchon ko jab hum training kar rahe to there are a lot of aspects we have to take into consideration one of the most prominent aspects one of the most important aspects that we need to take into consideration is safety how can i how can i take safety into consideration what do i do to safeguard my my athlete what do i do to see that he does not uh, have an accident what you should do as a coach or what you should do as an elder or what you should do as a manager if you are playing a game aapko pehle ja ke wo ground pe dekhna hai ki is there any hazardous item is there any material that can be harmful to the to the student aisa kuch cheez ground pe hai ki jisse bachon ko maar lag sakta ऐसा कुछ मतलब गड़ा है कि उसके पैर उसके अंदर जाके पैर भी टूट सकता है पैर भी स्प्रेन हो सकता है कभी कभी मैनहोल खुला रहता है यू नो ये ड्रेनेज का मैनहोल जो होता है जनरली कई वाटर आउटलेट्स रहते हैं वो कभी कभी वो मैनहोल खुला रहता है वो घास के अंदर आपको दिख के नहीं आता तो इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द कोच टू गो एंड चेक दीज थिंग्स टू सेफ गार्ड इज इज एथलीट फ्रॉम डेंजर तो सेफ्टी इज अ वेरी बिग एस्पेक्ट एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट इन ट्रेनिंग वन एथलीट शुड ऑलवेज ट्रेन अब मैं बच्चों की बात कर रहा हूँ अभी यहाँ जब जैसे मैं ग्रास रूट लेवल बच्चों की बात कर रहा हूँ तो बच्चों जब ट्रेनिंग कर रहे थे शुड ऑलवेज ट्रेन अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ ए कोच और ए एल्डर और ए सीनियर एथलीट आप बच्चों को अलग से छोड़ के आप ये करो ये करो अल्टीमेटली बच्चे जो है वेरी इनक्विजिटिव वो आप उनको जो मत करो बोले दे विल वॉन्ट टू सी ये करने से क्या होता you know, बच्चे जनरली आर वेरी इनक्विजिटिव they that is the nature hum log sab bachche the hum log bhi kare the when we were small ki hum log ko jab ye mat karo to we tend to bachche jo hai are ye kyun sir ne kyun bola ye ek bar karke dekhiye so you have to their training should be under the supervision of a coach under the supervision of a senior or a manager or some uh, elderly person or uh, responsible person i would say more responsible person balance load and training अभी क्या है दिस इज अ वेरी एक्चुअली दिस इज अ वेरी एक्सटेंसिव सब्जेक्ट बट आई विल ट्राई टू पुट इट इन वेरी वेरी ब्रीफ वेरी ब्रीफली आई विल ट्राई टू पुट इट क्योंकि ये टॉपिक जो है बहुत ही एक्सटेंसिव है एक्चुअली दिस वन वन टॉपिक में जो है आई कैन आई कैन स्पीक फॉर टू आवर्स एक एक टॉपिक पे दो दो घंटे हम लोग बात कर सकते हैं एंड वी कैन हैव डिस्कशन बट आई विल जस्ट टेक सम रियल मेन पॉइंट्स बैलेंसिंग लोड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग जैसा इससे पहले वी एन जी ने बताया था और शर्मा जी ने बताया था एवरी इंडिविजुअल एथलीट इज डिफरेंट सो वी हैव टू बैलेंस द लोड ऑफ द ट्रेनिंग बेस्ड ऑन द इंडिविजुअलिटी इंडिविजुअलिटी यू हैव टू चेक कि ये कितना लोड से ले सकता ये कितना लोड ले सकता सो यू कैनॉट जनरलाइज से सबको इतना इतना लोड दे सकता हूँ यू हैव टू सेग्रीगेट दम 
you have to make them either individually or you make them in groups and you balance the load according to their ability according to their capabilities so this is a very important aspect because if not what will happen is you will as i uh, as we go on you will we will see that overload is required over training is bad so in ise case me kya hota if you are not careful you will be over training your athlete now here difference between over training and overload ab isme this is another debatable uh, uh, topic but generally ye question mere ko aata tha i i will put it with based on my own experience and based on my own uh, matlab uh, training children jaisa main bataya tha ye when you overload when your muscle is being developed what is happening in your muscle your muscle is your uh, tissues are actually stretching aapke tissues jo hai stretch ho rahe and when you when you have enough pro, uh, 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 balanced uh, nutrition and rest these stretched tissues are automatically being repaired by your body when you are resting now i consider that overload now if you ask me personally ki overload or overtraining mein kya hai i will say this is overload what i will say overtraining is when your tissues stretch and phat jata matlab they they snap they break aapka jo muscle tissues hai wo phat jata when that tears then it cannot be it takes a long that is injury aapka jab muscle tissue phat jata to you are caused injury to yourself aur wo injury theek karne ke liye you need complete rest your total uh, training program goes out you cannot go for the next session and it takes a lot of time and rest for that torn tissue wo jo phata hua tissue to heal so i feel that this is the very fine line between stretching a a tissue and tearing a tissue if you ask me personally this is my personal experience if you ask me what is that fine line ye overtraining or overload mein ye fine line hai kya so i would say the fine line between overtraining and overload is stretching a tissue and tearing a tissue of course this is my personal uh, thing you uh, each coach can have a different but this is my way of understanding and explaining the basic difference between overtraining overload and overtraining <clears throat> okay uh, overtraining uh, let us go to the next one the next one is identif identifying fast switch and slow switch muscles now this is another important factor as a coach it is important to identify what is a who has a fast twitch muscle and who has a slow twitch muscle if you do not identify this fast twitch and slow twitch muscle you can be mixing up the events aap jaisa fast twitch muscle jiske paas hai he is more suitable for sprint events slow twitch muscle jiske paas hai he is more suitable for endurance events so <coughs> so how do i identify this mere paas kuch equipment nahi hai i don't have any basic equipment how do i identify this there are some uh, very simple methods like uh, vn ji ne bataya tha ki ye standing broad jump hai now a person who can do a standing broad jump of say 8 feet ya 9 feet what is this indicate this indicates that is is fast twitch muscles are good his explosive energy is better he can generally become a better sprinter the one who who does uh, say 1500 meters or 1600 meters in say 5 minutes 30 seconds or 5 minutes 15 seconds what does that indicate that indicates that he has more endurance he can generally become a better endurance rider or endurance athlete so it is very important for a coach to identify which athlete has fast twitch muscles and which athlete has slow, slow twitch muscles and accordingly put him in that event and develop him accordingly it also makes it easier to identify to you know to identify which event and what kind of training to give a, a, a athlete it, it makes a lot of difference next one variation in training abhi jab aap bachon ke sath kaam kar rahe hain you will realize that if you don't have variation in your training bacche bad bahut jaldi bore ho jate hain aap wo repeatedly wohi aap usko daily wohi karao aap jab ground pe aayenge aap itne dry round bhago say next day itne round bhago you keep doing the same thing over and over again bacche jo hai they will lose interest over oh, ground ko aana band kar deta so you have to in, add a lot of variation in your training programs the variation should be different kinds of activities different kinds of things way bacche jo hai they find it more interesting to come than the next day ab you know they are looking forward to to come to the ground for training because there is variation because there are different types of things that they can do so variation always it makes it inciting exciting it it, it makes uh, the the athlete become very interested 
and so on and so forth and there is a lot i am beginning to cut short now because i have a lot more to teach and uh, i have very little time now so i am beginning to cut short uh, in, in my program so making training fun ek to variation ho gaya ek to abhi making training fun if there is no fun aspect involved in your training bacche jo hai children love fun to aap usko ek fun aspect bhi you should should it should include in your training aapka training program mein there is a certain aspect of fun that should be तो बच्चे जो है दे इंजॉय वॉट दे आर डूइंग दे लाफ वॉट दे आर डूइंग हंसते हंसते यू नो दे ट्रेन एंड देव इट बिकम्स वेरी एक्साइटिंग एंड वेरी एंजॉयबल टू देम एंड दे आर हैविंग फन एंड द सेम टाइम दे आर डेवलपिंग द फिजिकल फिटनेस सो द फन एस्पेक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इवेंट स्पेसिफिक ट्रेनिंग इवेंट स्पेसिफिक ट्रेनिंग क्या है वेरी सिंपली अगर वो स्प्रिंटर है अगर उसके अंदर शॉर्ट ट्विस्ट मसल्स है और आप उसको इंडोरेंस ट्रेनिंग दे रहे तो देन इट डज नॉट मेक सेंस you have to be event specific agar uske andar fast twitch muscle hai you are training him for a sprint event so accordingly you have to make his training program ab uske hisab se uske event ke hisab se uska muscles develop karna chahiye now if you are a cyclist if you need good quads and good calves and you are constantly developing your upper body isse kuch matlab nahi banta you also need as a cyclist you also need a upper body but focus should be more on your lower body so event specific training is very important muscle specific training is very important which muscle you you use more which muscle you use less all these are to be taken into consideration and accordingly prepare your schedule and work on each athlete differently as i said jo jis athlete ka weakness jaye uske upar you work you 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 spend more time ensure proper nutrition and recovery now physical fitness or any kind of training is not just training it is i call it a three in one it is nutrition recovery and progression if you notice the the basics of of coaching it is like a graph overload recovery and progression so your progression mountain keeps going higher and higher and higher if you have the proper overload if you have the proper recovery then the next mountain of of um, progression goes higher and this way you can see this mountain keeps increasing and increasing and increasing and it goes higher so there is a gradual this is the the three things that are required your overload uh, pro, rest recovery and progression so in order to get this what is necessary nutrition proper training and recovery so these are very important aspects i have some more but i will i'm cutting short here so let, let us go to the next uh, challenges faced while training children now while training children kafi challenges face karna padta it is not easy, it is not a easy, easy task especially when you are training small children or oh, if you uh, if even if you are training a specially challenged or specially able children i can see mr avtar singh he is a specialist in that when you are training these kind of children you have to give more uh, emphasis to all that i was uh, teaching you about and you have to be more patient and you have to take a lot of other uh, aspects into consideration now some of the challenges we face parental challenges what is parental challenges pehle baat the, the the parent comes and says ki agar mere bachche sports mein gaya agar mera bachcha physical fitness kara तो दिस विल हैम्पर इज अकेडमिक सक्सेस उनका दिमाग में ये रहता कि स्पोर्ट्स से इट विल हैम्पर द अकेडमिक सक्सेस कई पेरेंट्स में आई डोंट से ऑल पेरेंट्स आर लाइक दैट बट मेनी पेरेंट्स थिंक इन दिस मैनर तो एज ए कोच वी हैव टू एक्सप्लेन टू देम जिससे पहले हम लोग इससे पहले जो बात कर रहे थे वी हैव टू गो बैक टू दोज थिंग्स एंड एक्सप्लेन टू देम कि आपको आपका अकेडमिक सक्सेस को नुकसान नहीं होता हालांकि फायदा होता इधर इज नो इट विल हेल्प यू योर वर्ड इन in improving better in his academics ki coach ka kaam hai ye samjhana this is one of the challenge the next challenge is kai parents ka ye manna hai ki agar mera bachcha sports mein gaya to the chances of injury is more to ye sochte hai ki agar mera bachcha sports mein gaya to there is chances of injury you have to again explain to him jaisa hum log pehle padhe the that flexibility reduces risk of injury a better muscle reduces uh, risk of injury so we have to explain to the parent ki your child will reduce the uh, chances of injury by through sports rather than get injured so hamare ye challenges hai aur as a good coach it is it is your, your communication skills acha hona chahiye you should be able to convince the the parent ki ye ye hai and getting it across to the parent is the responsibility of the coach he should have good communication skills not only with the parents he should have good communication skills with the with the athletes himself 
again academic success uh, i will i will just skip this because uh, we've already gone through through most of this academic success we've already studied and we are running out of time so i'll skip this i'll go to the next one the next one is um, uh, what is the next one puberty growth yeah this is another uh, aspect generally when we are training at the grassroots level we are training children between the age group 8 or 14 8 or 15 saal ke beech mein bachchon ko hum log training de rahe this is a very crucial age generally is beech mein kai bachchon ka puberty shuru ho jata so what happens during puberty during puberty there is there is a hormonal changes in the body that is happening unke andar ek kuch changes aa raha and because of these changes you will see that the attitude they they kind of temperament uh, sometimes it changes and during a situation like that you have to be a good coach you have to be a father to them you have to be a brother to them you have to be a friend to them because if you are not a friend not a brother not a father to them they will not open up to you aapko bolna band kar denge they will not discuss with you they will not tell you their problems you have to get their confidence and a good coach will never discuss one student's problem with another as a good coach agar koi bachcha comes to you with a with a personal problem it is the duty of the coach never to discuss this problem with another person it is the quality of a coach to listen to him solve his problem without this information going to another person these are good qualities of a coach next uh, i i am actually skipping bahut kuch hai you know because because of the fluctuating hormone levels in your body it creates uh, uh, mood swings you know aapka mood upar niche your moods are changing then there is also the bone during this time bone structure is growing because of the bro- bone structure your muscle is also growing so there is a lot of challenges that the student himself is facing uske andar there are different kinds of changes that is happening you know ye ye sab ho raha now these are the kind of physiological and uh, physical changes that is happening inke andar ek growth ho raha bones grow ho raha to keep up with the bones unka muscle grow ho raha so you know there is a lot of development and there is a lot of requirement for this growth in the body so there is a lot of changes uh, going on within him physical changes psychological changes physiological changes ye kafi kuch changes andar ho raha so during this time it is important that we be a good coach be be a good father we be good a good parent we be a good brother a good friend to our students so let us go to the next 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 this is warm up you know in a warm up generally people take warm up lightly kabhi kabhi hum log sochte hai ki warm up kya kuch bhi kare to warm up ho jata body apne ko kali jara idhar udhar bhagna hai aur warm up apne aap ho jata so we think that warm we don't pay much attention at least some coaches i'm not generalizing here when i say some it is every everything has an exception so there are some people who do not pay much attention to warm up but i think warm up is extremely important warm up is important because you have to gradually get your body to to a level you have to do stretching to increase the range of motion you have to do st- stretching that will increase the range of motion in in your activities you have to be event specific your warm up should be event specific actually mere paas i have some videos but i don't think i'll be able to show it to you because uh, i am running out of time and uh, there is a lot of videos so dikhate dikhate i think uh, that we will not have time so i am just running through my teaching and i am trying to avoid showing you these videos they are very interesting videos though but uh, maybe sometime uh, later so what is what is good warm up abhi kya type of stretching what type of stretching do we do in a warm up what type of as i told you stretching should have a range of motion you should have a wide range of motion in your activities your warm up should be gradual it should go from gradual it should be event specific jaisa aap sprinter hai if you are a sprinter you have to make sure that he, your rider takes a two, one or two standing starts he takes a sudden jump because in a sprint you have a sudden release it is a kind of a, a burst of energy that that is required so a launch launching a sprint you need a sudden burst of activity so you have to make sure that these kind of activities are also done in the warm up that activates those kind of muscles that are required to perform better in the event so in a warm up you are activating your body you are activating the specific muscles that will help you in performing and getting the maximum out of your event and doing the best you can in your event now what type of warm up is what type of uh, stretching is required or what type of stretching is done generally before a warm up active dynamic stretching what is active dynamic stretching active dynamic stretching is when you add motion to your stretching 
that's why these videos would have been very interesting to show you but it's already time so active dynamic stretching is when you add motion to your stretching so you know when you add motion to your stretching uh, this this is active dynamic stretching timely warm up timely warm up is another very important aspect abhi timely what do i mean by timely warm up agar samjho aapka event 2 ghante ke baad hai aur bachchon ko abhi aap warm up kara rahe to aap 2 ghante ke baad mein uska event hai to abhi warm up karne se fayda kya hua to you need to see that your athlete is warmed up at the right time that he will be able to give his maximum potential for his event to aapko it varies also coach coach you know you as a coach you have to study your rider and see ki event se pehle kitne kitna warm up kar raha hu aur event se pehle kitne minute roller pe dalu these are all uh, aspects of a good coach he has to study this many aspects comes through uh, with experience comes through studying uh, case case by case or student by student uh, all these aspects are developed so there is always a learning for the coach also you are not a coach always to teach you are a coach also that sometimes you learn from your students strength building jaisa main pehle bataya tha ki i am not a coach way to give uh, you know weight training to a 8 year old or 9 year old or 10 year old boy i feel that apne body weight se apna own body weight ke se there is a number of exercises uh, there is a number of exercises where uh, you can use your own body weight and develop real good strength so you have to develop strength when you are dealing with these uh, these young children you have to see that they develop strength my personal opinion is not to go for too heavy weights if you are a coach that gives weight training do try to go for light weights and uh, give them very light weights to develop their strength i personally as i told you i will go for without weights strength using your own body weight so basically this is uh, how to build your strength and how to develop now coming to the last aspect the last aspect is cooling down now here again there are some coaches ki ye sochte ki cooling down kya hai nahi karne se kya kya hota event to khatam ho gaya ab cool down nahi karne se kya kya matlab kuch hone wala nahi hai uska event to khatam ho gaya you have to realize that when you cool down when you stretch your body when you give your body some flexibility activities to do the blood it helps blood flow you know when you are stretching when you are it is stretching your muscle it is relaxing your muscle it is preparing your muscles for the next day it is preparing your muscle for the next event it is relaxing your muscle keeping it in condition for the next event or for the next training session it is also because of the blood flowing while you are stretching you are also uh, your muscles are recovering faster your muscles are recovering faster than what it would recover without a warm up now coming to what kind of stretching do we need uh during a cool down jaisa hum log abhi warm up mein baat kiye the kya type of stretching we need active dynamic stretching which you add motion to your stretching that is uh, generally preferred before a warm up what kind of stretching do we do during a cool down during a cool down we do static stretching abhi static stretching kya hai what is static stretching static stretching is when you stretch your body to a point and hold it there for 15 to 30 seconds depending on athlete to athlete again holding your position in that stretch position for 15 to 30 seconds this is known as static stretching now this improves flexibility this helps the blood flow this helps in recovery this helps in stiffness this helps in relaxation and this helps in many many other aspects which i can't go into so many detail i wish i could i also wish i could show you so many uh, videos but uh, i think i'm already over time and uh, so uh, this is uh, before i um, Uh, going to ha- hand over the session i would like to just uh, thank everyone once again for giving me this opportunity i would like to thank uh, venkateshwar reddy sir for and onkar singh sir for conducting this uh, excellent uh, event as i earlier said uh, it is a great uh, platform jahan se apna jo gyan badh gaya jahan se apne ko bahut kuch sikhne ko mila aur aage 4 5 din mein mere mere ko pura ummeed hai ki हम लोग आगे भी बहुत सीखेंगे सो आई थैंक ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू फॉर पेइंग अटेंशन आई थैंक ईच एंड वन एवरी वन ऑफ यू फॉर पेशेंटली लिसनिंग आई होप आई वाज हेल्पफुल एंड आई होप आई मेड सेंस एंड आई नाउ हैंड ओवर टू संदीप एंड इफ देयर इज एनी क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन आई एम रेडी टू आंसर एनी वनस क्वेश्चन इफ आई डोंट नो योर क्वेश्चन आई विल टेल यू आई डोंट नो आई विल रिफर एंड गेट बैक टू यू बट आई होप आई कैन आंसर ऑल योर क्वेश्चंस थैंक यू
थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर सर क्वेश्चन आंसर से पहले मेरी कुछ दो तीन रिक्वेस्ट है सभी से तो प्लीज इसको थोड़ा ध्यान से सुन लेते बोलिए फर्स्ट सर स्टॉप योर शेयरिंग सर ओके थैंक यू मैक्सिमम पार्टिसिपेट जो भी है कोचिज है हमारे उन्होंने अपना वीडियो ऑफ रखे तो प्लीज मेरी उनसे रिक्वेस्ट है कि प्लीज अपना वीडियो ऑन रखें ड्यूरिंग लेक्चर टाइम एंड सेकेंडली कुछ है जो अभी भी टेन थर्टी तक ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं मीटिंग को तो उनसे मेरी रिक्वेस्ट है कि टेन नाइन फोर्टी फाइव एंड नाइन फिफ्टी तक वो ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं ताकि उनको मीटिंग का पूरा फायदा मिल सके and uh, last request uh, all sai coaches uh, after meeting don't do leave sir uh, last uh, attendants live attendants sir one screen show all sai coaches thank you sir after screen share ho raha sir please stop the sharing slide Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, any question, please uh, inside the chat box write your question. Otherwise, raise your hand. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, one uh, Mr. Great in uh, ask the question, sir. Okay, please put him on. Yes. Yes, Mr. Great in. Yes. So go ahead with your question, please. Hi, Max. I'm Great in. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Great in. Uh, you were mentioning about the overing and uh, overload. and in that uh, you were saying that uh, it's over training when you when the uh, athlete has an injury uh, as a what, coach what, what i said is when you over train your athlete it could result in injury when you over train your athlete that could result in injury so as a coach where, where do you see the point when it moves it switches from overload to over training it depends on each individual as i said individual to individual you as a coach have to study each individual uh, athlete and you have to see which is the the fine line between overtraining and overload that varies you cannot generalize and you cannot compare two athletes and give them the same thing it has to vary from athlete to athlete so every athlete is different every athlete has a different structure every athlete is built differently every athlete can take different kinds of loads so you as a coach have to i would come and find out where is the fine line where does overtraining overload stop and where does overtraining start you as a coach have to define that true now uh, i have another point yeah when you do the overload yeah uh, like you rightly pointed out uh, it is the period of rest where the uh, where the actual actual healing and the actual build up of the body takes place yeah. so now when you do the overload Yeah. Uh, if an athlete does not, I mean, as a coach, you can't follow up on how much of rest he's missing. You can only yeah. instruct him. Yeah. You can't be there twenty-four hours around him. Yeah. So if the athlete is uh, not as disciplined to to actually take the rest seriously, yeah. uh, how do you, how as a coach would you be able to pick up the signs uh, of an athlete who has been put on overload? 
and then is not resting sufficiently there is one simple way to 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 uh, detect this you know you as as a coach it is our duty to tell every athlete to take the resting pulse and record it every day resting pulse when i say before they get out of bed as soon as they open their eyes i uh, they are they take their resting pulse and they make a note of it and you would see when they have enough recovery that night their resting pulse will will you know be at a, it will be just as they say one is bis ka farak if your resting pulse is say 55 it will be between 55 to 56 on every given day it will it will vary just between one or two but the day that he the previous day that he does not have enough rest or he does not give his body uh, sufficient recovery you would see that his resting pulse would be higher than his normal resting pulse so that is one way that you know that your athlete did not rest enough so that is why it is important to tell your athlete to take his resting pulse and make a record of it and produce that record to you in fact it nowadays uh, technology is there as he takes it he can send you an sms or send you a whatsapp and you you uh, store it on your phone or st- you store it on your computer or you store it in any means that you want to and you keep a record of your athletes thanks next mr pasha from hyderabad okay go ahead mr pasha good morning maxwell sir good morning good morning pasha first of all i would like to appreciate uh, what a wonderful session uh, today it was and uh, i have jotted down two questions to ask you yes please go ahead so one which i would like to uh, seek is what are the recommended hours for children let's say in a week okay. how many hours of training should should you actually give to children uh, let's say an example of an age of 7 years to 14 years yeah okay i'll answer you now you have to take again there are a lot of other aspects that you have to take into consideration you have to take now you see i'll i'll give you different situations for different uh, you cannot generalize again you cannot say that all the athletes uh, under 7 years could train for 2 hours there are i'll tell you the different uh, reasons one child school is 20 kilometers away from his house it takes him one and a half hour to travel by bus to reach his school it takes him another one and a half hour to come back from school to his house the next child is is his school is beside his house it takes him 5 minutes to go to school it takes it 5 minutes to come back now you see the difference between these two children so one child can actually train more the other child because of his stress on other related issues on his travel on his uh, distance you have to differentiate and you have to individual is i that's why taking the individual capacity of each uh, rider or each athlete is very important you cannot generalize and say ki you have to have 4 hours of training it is not some in some cases it is not possible they have extra classes they have special classes in school they have a uh, tuition you know a dull student will have to go for 2 hours student where a, where a student who is uh, doing well in his academics does not go for tuition so you see the difference here one is already saving uh, so many hours on his travel on his uh, not going for tuition that kind of a student you can give a little more hours to train well as the student that is spending more hours in travel spending more hours in in tuition spending more hours in other kind of necessary activities that he cannot avoid you have to reduce the the time of training in his uh, schedule so yeah very well answered i guess so that means if the coach has to individually uh, focus on each uh, child in that case any kind of training any kind of coach or any kind of training is always training somebody individually that is yeah, why uh, it is not yeah. possible for a coach to train 25 30 students it is always mm. better to train a minimum number where you can monitor them and you can focus individual attention can be given to them training is always individually done it is always focused on each individual's capacity on each individual's uh, uh, background on each individual's uh, time in school time uh, time on various other aspects makes more sense very good uh, the next question is uh, pretty much important the the child age group what you had mentioned yeah so there are a lot of uh, issues one of the issue which uh, i would like you to answer is about how the children should deal with the anxiety there's a lot of anxiety issues amongst the children and uh, how do you address to that as i earlier explained in in my, in my teaching in my lecture i said that continuous physical activities reduces stress stress and anxiety is uh, you know like uh, like brothers they are one and the same 
so if when you when physical activity is continuous physical activity is reduces your stress makes them happier physical activity is also will reduce the anxiety you know they, these are all uh, aspects of uh, developing these areas through activities of sports through physical activities so actually when a, when a student comes with a lot of anxiety and a lot of uh, stress when he comes to you for coaching you would realize that in a few months of time that stress is gone there is also another aspect as a coach you have to find out what is causing that uh, anxiety to him what is causing that anxiety what is causing that stress and you as a coach you have to be a motivator you have to be a inspirer you have to talk to him you have to see that what is that causing that problem and you have to mentally prepare him to to take on that challenge and you have to tell him that there is no challenge in this world that we cannot face there is no challenge that we cannot overcome so we have to explain is the role again of the coach how to motivate that child to overcome that particular anxiety or overcome that particular uh, um, uh, stress or that particular challenge or any kind of a problem yeah. <clears throat> thank you thank you very much and uh, i would like to exit from the question uh, requesting the your session should, would have been slightly longer and uh, we would we would have appreciated if we could look at the videos you wanted to share uh, so i request the panel if any time sooner or later uh, if this session would have been slightly longer it would have been better yeah in fact if i had to show the videos it would have gone beyond to us so that's why i uh, <laughs> i showed i stopped uh, the the videos no problem no, thank i you. thank you everyone have a good day thank you Uh, next uh, Sudham sir. Sudham, yes. Yes. Sudham ji, बोलिए. Can you hear me? Hello, Maxwell ji, good morning. Can you hear me? आपका थोड़ा सा आवाज में break आ रहा. Good. आपका आवाज में थोड़ा सा break आ रहा. अभी. हाँ, अभी बोलिए. गुड मॉर्निंग जी गुड मॉर्निंग सुदाम जी गुड मॉर्निंग मेरे को ये पूछना था स्लो टिच फाइबर और फास्ट टिच फाइबर हाँ जी बोल बोल पूछिए इसके बारे में थोड़ा थोड़ा ब्रीफ में जाइए ना मतलब जैसे अपने पास एक चौदह साल का लड़का है तो हाँ। उसको कैसे रिकोगनाइज करना है तो या जैसे... उसका ग्राउंड टेस्ट कैसा लेना है हाँ, तो तो मैं... कुछ आइडिया दीजिए ना हाँ तो मैं बता रहा हूँ तो जैसा इससे पहले मैं बताया था जैसा अभी खेलो इंडिया ने ये टेस्ट करा रहे अभी उस बेसिस पे सिलेक्शन हो रहा जैसा मैं बताया था कि ये स्टैंडिंग ब्रॉड जंप जो होता है अब जो स्टैंडिंग ब्रॉड जंप जो जो लड़का ने आठ फीट या नौ फीट या कर रहा तो इसका ये इंडिकेशन है इसका ये मतलब है कि ही हैज बेटर फास्ट ट्विच मसल्स क्योंकि देर इज एक्सप्लोजिव स्ट्रेंथ इन्वॉल्व ये जंप के अंदर देर इज एक्सप्लोजिव एनर्जी दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड देर इज एक्सप्लोजिव एनर्जी दैट इज दैट इज इन्वॉल्व इन दिस काइंड ऑफ अ जम्प तो वेन ए वेन ए स्टूडेंट अगर वो आठ फीट कूद रहा सात फीट कूद रहा कूद रहा या नौ फीट कूद रहा This is a clear indication that his fast twitch muscle is far better than his slow twitch muscle. Abhi, jaisa ye high jump jumping hai, vertical jump. Vertical jump me kya hai? The higher he jumps, it indicates that he has better fast twitch muscles. That he is able to uh, give that explosive energy. That is the reason why he or our uncha could sakta. So these are one of the very very you know this is a kind of a yardstick that how you can tell uh, fast twitch muscles. Slow twitch muscles ye hai ki The, the the athlete will normally do better in endurance uh, agar wo endurance mein zyada acha kar raha to iska matlab hai he has uh, slow twitch muscles he does not have fast twitch muscles so you can identify like this through these basic uh, uh, jo test jo ab uh, jo basic test kar rahe jaisa standing broad jump hai vertical jump hai 1500 meters running hai uh, you know any kind of uh, this kind of activities uh, will will uh, prove to you ki iske andar kaisa type ka muscle hai Okay, okay, thank you. you. Such nice, wonderful well, lecture. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, sir, next, uh, Mr. Vian Singh, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, please, sir. Uh, good morning, Maxwell ji. Uh, it was a wonderful lecture. Excellent, and you have shared very good informations uh, with us. Vian yeah, ji, yeah, thank you very much. You're uh, welcome. Sir, uh, just my thing is that. For the building up a grassroots level, uh, your plans have been very, uh, very, very educative. Yes, a खिलाड़ियों को हम students को training दें, physical fitness develop करें. हाँ जी. 
now our we what as a, we are propagating as a federation that hum un aise general khiladiyon mein se kitne zyada se zyada hum cycling ki taraf motivate kar aaj mein kyunki khiladi jab hamare student fit honge unhi mein se hame talent milega aaj mein to ye ek question tha ki unko hum kaise cycling ki taraf motivate kar sakte hain is par agar aap thoda sa batayein ha uske pehle ek chhota sa ek hamare kisi mitra ne question pucha tha over training and uh, overload and over training ke sambandh mein मैं थोड़ा सा ऐड करना चाहूंगा आपने बहुत अच्छा उनको सुटेबल रिप्लाई दिया उसमें एक चीज जो उन और नॉलेज मैंने हम सबको शेयर करने लायक है कि जो जो ओवरलोड का जो सिचुएशन होता है उसमें खिलाड़ी के कुछ सिम्टम्स आ जाते हैं जो खिलाड़ी हाँ होता है जैसे पसीना आना हाथ और पैरों में पसीना आना सोने में उसको परेशानी होने लगती है दूसरों से बातचीत करने में अपने आप को सोशली विड्रॉ करने लगता है ए काइंड ऑफ कुछ उसके जो डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज है उसमें कुछ चीजें चेंजेस आती हैं जिससे कि वो ही कैन बी वेरी वेल रिकोगनाइज दैट ही इज अंडर ओवर उसकी डे टू डे परफॉर्मेंस में भी गिरावट आती है जो 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 डेली ट्रेनिंग करता है उसमें उसकी थकावट टायर्डनेस फील करेगा और वो करेगा तो दैट ऑल कोचेज हियर दे कैन वेरी वेल नोटिस जब एक खिलाड़ी के अंदर ओवरलोड के ओवर ट्रेनिंग का सिचुएशन आता है तो इस तरह का बिहेवियर में उसके चेंजेस जाते हैं दूसरा हमारे एक मित्र ने जो आपसे पूछा था अभी एनएक्साइटी के संबंध में तो मैं हम, हमने कल जैसे दो दिन पहले डिस्कस किया था कि कोचेज के बहुत रोल होते हैं आ, उसमें साइकोलॉजिस्ट साइकोलॉजिस्ट भी आप लोग वी हैव टू बी गुड साइकोलॉजिस्ट बट एट द सेम टाइम वी वी नॉट थिंक दैट आर मास्टर ऑफ एवरीथिंग एग्जैक्टली है ना अगर हम ही सब कुछ बने तो फिर एक अच्छे साइकोलॉजिस्ट की क्या जरूरत पड़ी हाँ जी, हाँ जी. अगर इस तरह का कोई केस आता है किसी को किसी खिलाड़ी के साथ एनेक्सिटी अगर आपको महसूस हो रहा है की उसको हमें वी हैव टू ओवर कम टेक टू साइकोलॉजिस्ट ऑल्सो हाँ एक डॉक्टर जो काम करेगा एक कोच नहीं कर सकता हाँ एक फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट जो काम करेगा एक कोच नहीं कर सकता वी आर ब्रॉडली वी शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ एवरीथिंग बट नॉट दैट हम ही सब कुछ बन जाए वी स्टार्ट डीलिंग फॉर एवरीथिंग वी मास्टर ऑफ नन होता ना जैक ऑफ ऑल एंड मास्टर ऑफ नन बेटर इन आवर ट्रेनिंग सेशन हम हम जितना ज्यादा से ज्यादा जानकारी शेयर करें या जानते हैं वो वो साइकिलिंग के विषय में जाने साइकिलिंग का परफॉर्मेंस डेवलप करने के बट अदर थिंग्स आर आल्सो एडिशन हाँ जी सो ये तो कोचेस कैन गो टू अ सर्टेन लेवल मतलब जो जो इनिशियल स्टेजेस में है इनिशियल स्टेजेस में कोच कैन हैंडल इट अगर उसके आगे गया तो देन ही नीड्स प्रोफेशनल हेल्प वेरी वेल वेरी वेल वेरी तो बाकी मेरा जो पहला क्वेश्चन स्टेंस का था इफ यू कैन से समथिंग हाँ जी मेरा पर्सनल ओपिनियन ये है कि अनलेस वी स्टार्ट इंट्रोड्यूसिंग साइकिलिंग इन स्कूल एट द स्कूल लेवल मतलब अंडर एट अभी जो अपना जो नेशनल लेवल में वी हैव अंडर फोर्टीन ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन और अंडर सिक्सटीन आई फील और एक एज ग्रुप होना चाहिए मे नॉट बी नेशनल के अंदर लेकिन हर स्कूल में जाके आई फील फेडरेशन अगर किसी को नॉमिनेट करा कि आप फलाना आपके स्टेट में इतने स्कूल्स पे जाके यू स्टार्ट कंडक्टिंग साइकिलिंग इवेंट अपने स्कूल के अंदर ऑर्डनरी साइकिल्स पे ये नहीं है कि आपको रेसिंग साइकिल देना आप एक किलोमीटर का या दो किलोमीटर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द अवेलेबिलिटी आप ये एट एंड बारह साल के बीच में उसमें आप दो एज ग्रुप भी बना सकते हैं एट टू टेन एंड टेन टू ट्वेल्व और इसके इसके अंदर आप ये भी कर सकते कि जैसा हम ना खेलो इंडिया में जैसा ये स्टैंडिंग ब्रॉड जंप है हाई जंप है इसका भी एक हो जाएगा वी कैन गेट दे डाटा फ्रॉम देट एंड दैट कैन बी यूजफुल फॉर फॉर खेलो इंडिया Besides that, we can also have a race of a kilometer, depending on the availability there. And this race, in that, you will know how good a cyclist he can become. And in that, I believe that we can identify a lot of talent in this way. Because now, in one city, in Hyderabad, there are thousands of schools. I mean, 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 thousands of schools. कितने बच्चों विल बी एक्सपोज्ड टू दिस टैलेंट और हमने को कितने बच्चों को देखने को मिलता कि अगर साइकिलिंग में अच्छा नहीं है इफ ही हैज अ गुड जैसा ये स्टैंडिंग ब्रॉड जंप है वी वी कैन टेक हिम एंड डेवलप हिम लाइक जैसा अभी सीएफआई ने कर रहा 
वो रॉ टैलेंट को लेके वो वर्ल्ड चैंपियन बना रहा सी एफ आई आज सो दैट इज दैट बिकम्स ए मो सप्लाइंग चेन टू द सी एफ आई टू टेक दीज रॉ टैलेंट एंड मेक दम चैंपियंस तो द मोर वी अनलेस वी आर मोर एक्सपोज टू टू दी स्कूल अनलेस द चिल्ड्रेन आर मोर एक्सपोज टू अस इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू टू हैव ए चॉइस ऑफ टैलेंट तो मेरा मानना ये है कि वी हैव टू गो आउट टू एवरी स्कूल सी इफ द फेडरेशन रिकमेंड इट हैज मोर वैल्यू अगर मैं फेडरेशन का लेटर जा लेके जाके स्कूल में जाऊंगा इफ आई से द साइकिलिंग फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया वॉन्ट्स टू कंडक्ट ए रेस इन योर स्कूल और इसके अंदर जो भी एलिजिबल है वी विल सेलेक्ट दम फॉर द खेलो इंडिया और वी विल सेलेक्ट दम फॉर ए नेशनल कैम्प और वी विल वर्क ऑन एंड डेवलप दम तो दैट दिस लेटर विल कैरी अ लॉट ऑफ वेट एंड उसकी वजह से दे विल स्टार्ट रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू मी एज वेल एंड विल गेट ए गुड रिस्पॉन्स तो मेरा ये एक रिक्वेस्ट है कि the federation should also start working at the grassroots level in, in schools very thank you very much it was uh, you, good information aur jo aapne bhi ye last baat kahi usme mujhe ek cheez bahut acha laga ki 8 se 12 saal ke liye bhi hame kuch shuru karna chahiye is par already uh, chairman saab se omkar singh ji se hamari discussion hui rahi thi ki hum uh, aage in future BMX की इंट्रोड्यूस करने का प्लान कर रहे हैं जिससे कि हम इस आठ से बारह साल के बच्चों को स्कूलों में और छोटे छोटे ऐसे ट्रैक बनाए जाएं हर शहरों में जहां पर आठ से बारह साल के बच्चे BMX शुरू करें वहां से हमें बहुत सारे टैलेंट मिल सकते हैं हाँ जी दी दिस इज अ वेरी गुड आइडिया एंड आई थिंक आई शुड कंग्रेचुलेट साइकिलिंग फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया दे हैव डन एन एक्सेलेंट जॉब जैसा मैं बताया था अपने साइकिलिंग का इतिहास में आज तक किसी को ऐसा देखने का मौका नहीं मिला the transformation from from grassroots level to world class thank you thank you thank you thank you sir sir last uh, mr anurag rai saxena ha ji mai good morning saxena ji good morning boliye uh, mai saxena ek chhota sa ye tha ki uh, hamara jo age difference hota hai ha ji ki jo 14 under 14 ka jo candidate hota hai ki he is about to get puberty हाँ जी और व्हेन ही इज एक्वायरिंग पीबीटी जनवरी बोर्न चाइल्ड और दिसंबर बोर्न चाइल्ड मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस वो पर्टिकुलर साइकोलॉजिकल सिचुएशन पे नहीं नहीं यू यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग पीबीटी डज नॉट कम विद वन फिक्स्ड एज इट वेरीज फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू चाइल्ड यस 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 तो इट ये नहीं है कि 14 साल होते उसको पीबीटी आना वो वो ऐसा नहीं इट डजंट वर्क लाइक दैट इट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू चाइल्ड एक को कभी you know there are there are certain cases where we girls mature at the age of 8 there are certain cases where they they mature at the age of 12 or 13 sometimes 14 so there you can see the age from 8 to 14 years itna bada range hai to ye nahi hai ki 14 saal hote ya 13 saal hote he he is come to puberty he can come during this time 8 to 10 8 to 14 years ke beech mein kabhi bhi ho sakta ho now what is the effect of uh, puberty on to a child jaisa uh, psychology जैसा मैं टीचिंग में बताया था देर इज अंबर ऑफ फिजियोलॉजिकल एंड फिजिकल चेंजेस दैट इज हैपनिंग देर इज अट ऑफ फ्लक्चुएशन इन हारमोन इन द बॉडी सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फ्लक्चुएशन इन हारमोन इन द बॉडी एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फिजियोलॉजिकल एंड साइकोलॉजिकल चेंजेस दिस फिजिकल चेंजेस देर इज अलॉट दैट इज देर आर मूड स्विंग्स यू नो समाइम्स इट्स नॉट जनरली हैपन्स टू एवरी वन कई बच्चों में मूड स्विंग आता कई बच्चों में यू नो दे आर वेरी इरेटेबल कई बच्चों में इमोशनल हो जाते हैं kai bache you know there is a different kind of reaction in different uh, students but there is definitely something that is going on in their body they are experiencing a new experience bacche jo hai some of them accept it very well that is why it is important for the parents to explain this situation ki aap jaisa aapko pata lag jayega ki aapka child jo hai ek ek aad saal mein he or she is coming to puberty so it's the job of the parents to explain ki puberty kya hai beta aap to you are becoming a big guy you are entering into adulthood you are becoming a, a, you know you are going into the next uh, stage of life it is for the parents to add, uh, to give them the right knowledge so when it happens to them they know ki kya ho raha you know they know why it's happening most generally kisko affect hota when they don't know ki ye kya hai suddenly they realize ki kya ho raha you know it's a kind of surprise to them ki they don't know what is this he they get all bothered ki mujhe kya ho raha you know that is the kind of situation where it plays a, a big role on the mental uh, ability and the mental uh, status of the of the child when they do not know ki ye kyun ho raha so it is always better for the parents to brief them and tell them ki ye hone wala hai aaj nahi to kal you know it's just a matter of time ki aapko ye hone wala hai 
so as a coach uh, we have to uh, be interact with the parents of any children what we have under us no as i said it's the job of the parent to first uh, educate the child during, uh, during about this uh, topic and as a coach generally uh, you know you you will come to know the psychology of the of the student and again as uh, vnj very rightfully said we can do things to a certain limit uske baad mein agar if it goes then they need professional help so as a coach you have to also take these things into consideration and it is best that it comes from the parents first see this is a tech, this is a very delicate situation aap kai choti you know the 10 12 saal ka bachche ko agar aap as a coach ja ke if you are trying to explain to a about what is periods and what is uh, it's a very uncomfortable situation may not be for you but it may be a very uncomfortable situation for the student so in order to avoid that uncomfortable situation for the first time it is always better that the parents explain those aspects to them then when they are aware that this is just a biological uh, way of the body functioning and this is nothing uh, abnormal this is just a normal aspect that every girl or every lady goes through at this age once they get that understanding then it is becomes better and easier to to handle and to communicate with that child or that student thanks max thank you thanks welcome sir. welcome नेक्स्ट सर 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 हाँ 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 जी 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 बोलिए बहुत ही सेशन था आपका थैंक थैंक यू यू एक एक थोड़ा है लोग केस भी हम लोग के स्टेट में बोलिए रनिंग और साइकिलिंग के बीच में सर क्या मतलब लाइक एक बच्चा है जो रनिंग में बहुत अच्छा नहीं है बहुत बच्चों से शायद पीछे रह जाता है पर वो साइकिलिंग में लगभग सबको हराता है तो क्या ये आपको नेचुरल लगता है या कोई इज देयर एनी डेवलपमेंट एंड प्रॉब्लम और समथिंग नहीं दिस इज नथिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम क्या है देखो यू यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एक चीज आपका जब साइकिलिंग कर रहे हैं देयर आर डिफरेंट ग्रुप ऑफ मसल्स आर बीइंग यूज्ड आप जब रनिंग कर रहे हैं देयर इज अ डिफरेंट ग्रुप ऑफ मसल्स सर्टेन मसल्स आर कॉमन कई मसल ऐसा कॉमन है कि रनिंग में वही मसल का काम करता साइकिलिंग में भी वही मसल काम करता लेकिन कई मसल्स ऐसा है कि साइकिलिंग साइकिलिंग मसल्स काम करता रनिंग करे जब रनिंग के मसल्स काम करता so this is possible that is the muscles that is used the group of muscles that is being used for cycling wo muscles are better developed than uh, than is a, a group of muscles that are used for for running so there is nothing to be i mean isme kuch upset hone ki baat nahi hai ya there are many cyclists like that who are not good in in running so aisa kuch ye baat nahi hai ki he has to be good in both aisa ye nahi hai ki because he is a good cyclist he has to be a good runner aisa to a good uh, uh, long distance runner should also be a good cyclist See, if the same kind of muscles are involved for both activities, then it should be both ways. If he is a marathon runner, then he should be able to do 100 km cycling. But it doesn't work like that. The, the muscles are different. The, the activities are different. So there is a different kind of uh, uh, um, application that is used in both these activities. So it is not that cycling is a good cyclist, a good runner, or a good runner is a good cyclist. So it is, it is very common and normal to see an athlete good in one sport and not good in the other sport. हाँ जी बोलिए हुज नेक्स्ट सर आशकन सर नोट आई थिंक नोट लिया मिस्टर अवतार सिंह अवतार जी बोलिए that uh, person may be good in cycling and he may not Atarji, be good can, in can running can you repeat can you repeat uh, the question uh, i i missed i missed the first part of it your audio audio was not on can you repeat the question please uh, somebody asked just now a boy can be good in cycling and good be, he may not be good in uh, running or something yeah. like that he asked uh, i mean uh, just to back that 
Yeah. Can you hear me, Maxine? I can hear you. Yeah. So, uh, uh, to, to back a little bit, because cycling is the only event in which the upper part of the body is parallel to ground and our heart and lung has to work in that condition, which is very rare in other sports, besides swimming and uh, uh, maybe tug of war, which is uh, the winner is decided by going backward. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the question. And second thing, uh, Maxi, I just wanted to uh, ask you if uh, if uh, uh, physique of an athlete is also to be taken into consideration while selecting the event or because a five feet uh, uh, person cannot be put in high hurdles. So uh, along with fast twitch and slow twitch muscle, uh, do you back the point that uh, uh, physical uh, physical uh, posture of a person is also to be considered? Yeah, this is a very good question. Actually, see, taking the physical aspects into consideration is good. But you should also at the same time not neglect somebody who does not fulfill those facilities who is very good. For instance, let's say, if there is a 5'2 uh, boy and he's extremely good in cycling, so you cannot overlook him just and take a boy who is 6 feet just because he is based on his height. So you have to take various aspects into consideration. And there are the, the, the Kelo India project is just like this. They have a, a specification. But if there is anyone who is outstanding, who is there anyone who is deserving, even not fulfilling the height uh, requirements, they will be taken into the Kelo India. And they will be... So you have to focus on this. But at the same time, do not neglect those that do not fulfill these norms and are good. So you have to cater on both sides. I said that just because he does not have a height and he's a good cyclist, because of his height, we will not take him. It doesn't work like that. If you take uh, the, the Chinese, the Japanese, uh, if you, you, you were there during the 1982 80, uh, 82 games, Sakamoto, the, the champion, he was hardly 5 feet 5 inches. Uh, Nagasaki was almost 5 feet 6 inches. So, you know, this is uh, 5 feet 5, 5 inches, is not a uh, height. But they were Asian champions. So, you have to take into consideration not only the height, but other aspects as well. And yes, coming, much, and coming uh, to I, the I point, uh, as coming to the point about uh, cycling and running, as uh, Onkarji always says, cycling is a sport which involves man and machine. So also, it also depends on what kind of a machine he is doing and how he performs. So it is a combination of man and machine. I like this phrase very much of uh, Onkar, sir. Thank you. It fulfilled my uh, queries. Thank you very much. Thank Maxi. you. Thank you, Atharji. Next, Mr. Ajit Singh. Yes, sir, please. Mr. Ajit Singh. Uh, next, sir, Mr. Ashok Ran Cycling Club. Yes, sir. Sandeep, are you coming? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Good morning, Max, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, sir, I have a topic that you have told about the basic need of cycling to improve the need of cycling to improve the need. अगर सही टैलेंट आइडेंटिफाई करें और बच्चों को अगर ग्रास रूट लेवल पे और छोटी एज से हम सेलेक्ट करेंगे तो बहुत हेल्प मिलेगा सर मेरा एक रिक्वेस्ट था सर सीएफआई से चेयरमैन साहब से एक इनफॉरमेशन था आज अपने सीनियर कोच है जसमेल सर वो उनका लास्ट दिन है सर साई में आज रिटायर हो रहे हैं तो उनके अगले फ्यूचर के लिए सर थोड़ा सा दो वर्ड अगर आप कहें तो सर नहीं मेरे को कह बोल रहे या चेयरमैन साहब को कह बोल रहे नहीं आप वो तो चेयरमैन साहब करेंगे ना ये क्वेश्चन आपका चेयरमैन जी सर जी सर हाँ जी जी सर चेयरमैन साहब कोई बोला सर तो ओनकार साहब आपका आपका मतलब सुन रहे और उसका आपको जवाब देंगे ओनकार साहब ओके सर सर लास्ट मिस्टर अजीत यस आर यू हेयर सर मिस्टर अजीत हेलो हेलो 
हाँ जी बोलिए बच्चों को साइकिलिंग कराओ अनलेस दे है बिना कॉम्पिटिशन के कुछ नहीं हो सकता मैं इसलिए यहाँ बोल रहा हूँ इस प्लेटफॉर्म में कि बिकॉज ऑल कोचेज दे कैन पुश देर स्टेट एसोसिएशन सम स्टेट आर डूइंग वेरी गुड उनके रेगुलर कॉम्पिटिशन वी कैन सी इन दैट अपना जो दूसरा ग्रुप है उसमें रेगुलरली कंडक्टिंग कॉम्पिटिशन बट सम बिल्कुल कुछ नहीं कर रहे हैं तो दैट वे लाइक यू हैव पोलराइजेशन ऑफ टैलेंट ऑल्सो बट जहाँ पे हर स्टेट से आएगा तो वी कैन हैव वराइटी है and as i answered vng's question also ki when i was talking about school ko jana i was talking about competitions our school ko jaake if you can have a school competition matlab aap inter class competition lagao abhi aisa hai ki dekho ek ek class mein jaisa fifth mein 10 section hai section a section b section to aap aisa you know you will get a number of hundreds exactly, of that's students that's what I'm, i'm saying so matlab this state association should push ha ji ha ji so no see as the vng said that uh, they are taking this into consideration and the federation is working on these aspects and i am sure that we will we will see a great future for cycling in india mm-hmm. and uh, we we will uh, mai vn sir aur unkar sir se bhi request karunga ki sir jo state state uh, competition nahi karwati hai unko national mein participation unka pehle apna state karwaye then only they will be eligible to participate in national no you I, one more one more thing is that you cannot put all the burden on the state associations as individual coaches, coaches it's our job also to go and uh, reach out to these people so generally see main pehle bol hi raha hu that's what i'm saying ha ji ha ji so state association mein sometimes they don't have uh, enough coaches and they have enough other work to do so it is the, if the individual responsibility can be given to coaches directed from the cfi that i think that makes uh, more value because a letter from the cfi has definitely carries more weight and you will get a better response from schools ready sir bhi hain ye bhi sun rahe hain so they i, I think they'll also push their psych coaches ke bhaiya push your state associations ki kuch karao yeah, competitions yeah. karao schools mein jao yeah talents spot karo thank all you. that thank you sir i invite to mr ankar singh sir uh, yes sir come to the yeah uh good morning can you hear me please yes sir yes sir uh good morning maxi i'm uh, morning, really grateful to you you you've been very specific and you had a great understanding of the subject and uh, thank so you, you very could, much sir you explained it so nicely and thank all you, the sir. answers were all the questions were answered very well thank you sir a uh, few things i would uh, between uh, you know come up during the discussions yes, was uh, regarding the the uh, going into schools and uh, all those uh, you know at the grassroots level yes sir uh, as you know max we have been already doing a lot of you know talent search programs yes sir and uh, going to grassroots level and opening up academies yes sir uh, the, another thing which you i would like to add is that we are surely going into bmx because bmx is one one uh, area which was neglected for quite some time yes sir and if you see i have been traveling quite quite a bit and visiting all the all the uh, countries who are good in bmx i could see children at the age of 6 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 they are practicing bmx yes sir and i i i'm i'm sure that a lot of the world champions have are originally from bmx side yes sir so bmx basically is very helpful for track cycling as, as i i can see for especially for sprinting yes sir. so we i'm we are surely we are already discussed with the sports authority of india and uh, i think they already approved the track for uh, uh, two tracks one maybe in the ig stadium and another one uh, maybe somewhere in haryana already we uh, were discussing this and uh, plans have been put forth to them and uh, since this lockdown is there after this will be uh, issuing tenders for that and we will start with the mpmx which will help us uh, quite a bit uh, for searching talent even at the age of 6 7 8 or at that period another thing is which is uh, you know we have been talking to a lot of states 
who don't, don't have their uh, cycling tracks. We are pushing them to at least at least have one cycling track in each, each country, in each, each state. And we've been successful quite a bit in a few states also. But unfortunately, they, they, the, the, the building of track is a very specialized thing. And uh, like we had one built in uh, Tamil Nadu, which was not up to the mark, and you know, it's like, like that only. Second thing, second one is somewhere in uh, even Shola and, and Karnataka. So we have to, we are finding some good now, good contractors who could build a, uh, build a better tracks, who could, uh, which, which are uh, exactly as per the specifications. So we are trying to do that also. But the biggest challenge we face is the equipment. Maximum, this is a very expensive sport, you know all know, this is very expensive sport. Yes, sir. So cycle equipment is the biggest challenge to us. You know, when, when we, we took over, uh, I think we didn't have even a single bicycle yes, for, the, for, for the national camps even. Yep. There were only five bicycles which you got from the NIS Patiala. And that was purchased in, in uh, 2010 uh, uh, Commonwealth Games. But I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that today we have more than 300 cycles with us. And which, which, uh, which, we, which have given us impetus to, to the, our training uh, programs and even to the, to the... Now we have the cycles with the cost of 10 lakhs each for even uh, more expensive cycles for the sprinting team. So thanks to Sports Start of India Plus, you know, we had uh, UCI is, uh, supporting us and uh, Honda Scooters uh, funding us for all these equipment. So the biggest challenge for the states is the equipment. We go to schools, we do tell them who's cycling, but where is the equipment? Exactly. You know, that, that is a very big challenge. So we have to just overcome that. We have to uh, make uh, states aware that uh, you have to buy cycles for the, for the, for the. So the opening of academies is part of that. Once we have the academies, then we have a lot of cycles in them. We already, you know, uh, we ordered about 150 track and 150 road cycles for these academies. And we'll first equip them. Equip them. Talent is there. Yes, there is there is a there is a gap between talent and the resources. Yes. So first we have to fill that gap. Once that is there, I think we 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 already done quite a bit. We a lot of job on that. You, uh, we've come a long way. Since then, yes, and uh, we are providing good cycles to everyone as as, yes. as uh, complement them with their performances. So, keeping all these things into mind, uh, grassroots level is very important, and we we surely, Maxi, you did a very wonderful job today, and yes, explaining sir. at the grassroots level how the fitness works, how how and coaches who are working at that level will be very much you know they they gain a lot of knowledge on that, and thank yes, you sir. so much. And we are, I'm sure that in other years to come, the starting with five, six, seven academies, I think they will reach to that level where we have at least 2,000, 3,000 cyclists uh, in the line uh, for, for in the academies so that we can have a better parameter to the top. Thank you so much, Maxi. Thank you, and uh, thank you, everyone. For, and I'm, I'm, the one good thing which I could, I could uh, you know, uh, observe that a lot of questions coming in. That's, that's, that's the best part of it. You know, people started understanding. They take they, they interest in that. So, I'm really glad that the purpose of holding this uh, course is served, almost served. So, thank you so much and have a good day. Have a nice day. And please don't go out and stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I invite to our uh, program director, MK, M. Venkatesh Reddy, sir. Please, sir. Maxil, uh, it's very good uh, topic that you have chosen. You have given a very nice lecture. Even a basic level uh, person can understand what uh, you are intended to tell. It's a good class and you have uh, given good answers to the, all the questions. And you have suggested a very good uh, idea of uh, like grassroots level uh, development of uh, cycling at uh, age group of 8 to 12 and above. So this is a very good uh, idea that uh, with the uh, uh, sir, uh, sir uh, was also expressing the right uh, difficulty like uh, equipment problem. So as everybody of us and uh, including being a cyclist myself and uh, you people also have uh, practiced ourselves on a normal cycle. If you have a competition on normal cycle and uh, if they use it and if they develop the uh, ambition, develop the interest in uh, cycling. So that will be a starting point. So once they get uh, uh, accustomed to this and they attracted to our uh, cycling, there will be a lot of scope in identifying the talent. And after that, once 
uh, they come to our uh, centers or they come to our uh, Kelo India competitions or any identified academies. There, there will be uh, specialized uh, by, uh, equipment can be given to them and uh, they can be trained. And this is a very good idea. And uh, I think I believe uh, this is going to be done by uh, even uh, Cycling Federation of India by con uh, conducting competitions uh, at the age group of 8 to 12. And this will help a lot. Even Sai will uh, uh, take initiative in this. Uh, even uh, we can suggest to our uh, head office uh, for putting this sort of uh, competition in uh, Kelo India also so that it will be helpful for everybody. And uh, in identifying the talent at a grassroots level, this is one of the best uh, idea that you have suggested with the basic equipment. So with this, I thank you everyone, including our own uh, sir, who has uh, given a good um, idea about uh, what the initiative taken by SAI as well as the Cycling Federation of India. So thank you. And uh, this is actually, uh, we, we are happy to hear from you all people that uh, the course what we have started, it's helping uh, everybody. And it is, uh, uh, it gives us motivation to conduct more sort of, uh, sort of courses. And this will be a good idea. And thanks for, thank you for your uh, uh, participation and thank you. Thank uh, you. All for this uh, excellent uh, response. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Maxwell, sir. Today is very excellent uh, lecture. I hope uh, everyone useful in future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir.